for I'm, I'm, I'm mindful that not everyone is aware uh, of what Espresso and Economist Films are all about. So Espresso is our daily briefing product that we launched uh, literally two years and one day ago. Uh, it would give you like five, um, five things that will come up in, in the news today to prep you for the day ahead, and it will also give you a quick rundown of what happened in the last 24 hours when you were asleep. Uh, it's, a, it's a product we launched, as I said, two years ago, uh, when daily briefing products were emerging left, right and center, and despite a lot of people going down the newsletter route, uh, we went down a native app route uh, that is available on iOS and on Android. Uh, Economist Films is a project that we launched last year uh, to deal with the, the, the problem that we have uh, around the globe, but specifically in the US, where 60% of the people that ought to be reading The Economist do not know um, uh, do not know the brand, and a lot of people that do know the brand uh, have the wrong assumption of it. So it's really a brand awareness uh, and a, a brand perception uh, play. So we produced longer form uh, video pieces um, that cover all the topics that everyone always thinks that we uh, don't cover. So most people think we cover economics and financial news. Uh, Economist Films covers like the biggest stories uh, as global warming or uh, the war on drugs uh, or what's going to happen in the future with the series Future Works. Um, so when Google announced the uh, Firebase um, product officially at I.O. 2016, um, we were quick to implement it into, into one of our products because in, uh, in the current age of, of digital uh, publishing has, has especially been uh, challenged to uh, sort of innovate uh, quickly. And, um, We've empowered our teams to, um, uh, to make decisions, to use data to make those decisions, and then based on that, um, pivot how products, uh, products are working at The Economist. Um, and um, we use the, all the capabilities we have uh, as a res uh, from, the, from the Firebase platform uh, in developing uh, our new feature, which is called uh, Daily Watch, and I'll talk about that a little bit more. So what I'm going to cover today is the use of remote config to launch a new feature, um, use notifications uh, in the aid to uh, content discovery, as well as dynamic links for people to share your content out onto, uh, onto social media, uh, and finally show you some of the turnkey, well, show you a little bit of the turnkey app analytics that you get by implementing um, Firebase into your, uh, into your apps. So introducing Daily Watch very briefly, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a daily product, two to four minutes. Uh, it covers uh, various um, topics like um, uh, what we put on our cover, what our cover leader is, um, what happened like a week of a, a year ago in, in the news, things that are becoming topical again in the news uh, in that particular time. Uh, and it also allows you to get a, a sneak peek behind the scenes of what happens at The Economist. So you'll have an interview with our editor-in-chief that explains to you why we've uh, gone for a particular cover. Um, and to do that, um, to build that new feature, we have a three-step checklist that we, that we came up with as part of this process. So, unfortunately, Firebase does a lot of things for you, but it doesn't build your features. You still have to do that yourself. So, once you go ahead, have your whole team uh, come together, uh, you, your ex-designers, uh, uh, build a feature, you put it through QA, um, and you release it into the market using a state deployment approach or any of the other approaches that you normally use um, for your apps, and you can let it bed in. You can really see if it works, if there's anything else in there that uh, doesn't behave as you expected. And then when you're ready uh, for a global reveal of your new shiny feature, you flick the switch in remote config, uh, and within 24 hours globally across all your platforms, uh, your new feature will go live. Then, uh, in addition, um, use push notifications that come as part of the Firebase platform to drive attention to your new feature, but also not just look at the, uh, uh, the metrics that Steve mentioned before, like open rates, which are the old, old ways of measuring successful push notifications, link them to actual engagement in the app. So what's important for us is how many people make it past the 50% mark of a video, which shows that they've engaged with the content in quite a way. And um, the great stuff about that, about the way Firebase um, conversion events work, is that I, can, I don't have to uh, determine at design time what, what success looks like for me. There's a whole bunch of events that come out of the box. There's a whole bunch of events that I can put in. And if I send a push notification and say, I want to test something new, or I want to change the wording somewhat, and see if people um, play, play the video versus 
uh, read an article or, um, I don't know, share a video because that's some functionality that I want to call out to them. Uh, and I can just send a notification, select the conversion event and see if I have success. Um, and then in addition, dynamic links is, uh, is a great way when people get excited about your feature and they start sharing it on their favorite social network with all their friends, um, those people might not have your app installed. Uh, so rather than going to a, uh, to a dead end, they might end up on, on, on the website where they can still see your new feature or your new piece of content. Um, they might have the app installed and they go directly into the app. Or if you choose to, you can use it as a, uh, an app install uh, kind of campaign, and people will go directly into their favorite app store, install the app, and enjoy the piece of content that you've made available for them. Um, this is my boss's favorite quote. If we have data, let's look at data. If all we have are opinions, let's go with mine. <laughs> um, quote came from Jim Boxdale, who used to be the CEO of, uh, of Netscape. So how are we doing so far? Uh, we've got some, easy, some, some, some quick early results. One um, that I pointed out here is how it assists us uh, with decision making during sprint planning. So we all sit there, we've got a shiny design, it looks really nice, uh, and someone turns around and says, but it looks shit on this device. Uh, by going into, uh, into Firebase Analytics straight away, uh, within four and a half hours and uh, in the next couple of weeks in real time, I can see how many people this will affect. So for Economist Films, for instance, uh, there's a bug with the Exo player in Android 4.03 and 4.04. .04. How many people does that affect? Not enough for me to really care about that. So we don't have to really uh, put any additional effort in, into, the, into it to uh, engineer around it. Uh, in addition, push notifications. Uh, as everyone knows, product feature releases, you always run out of time. So the bit that we tend to forget is training up our uh, operational staff to sort of use the features. Unfortunately, I didn't have to because they were presented with this new interface and were able to use it straight away. Uh, and then finally, how does the feature itself actually uh, perform? Um, we see a great uptake in week-on-week -week, um, daily average engagement measured in time. So people are spending nearly twice as long um, in the app than they were before. The spike you see is the Saturday, which is obviously when people have more time and therefore uh, look at the videos that we've published throughout the week. And then the dip is Sunday, because we don't publish on Sunday. Uh, and the 30% decline in red is also uh, day on day rather than week on week, which is something we need to talk about tomorrow. Um, so key takeaways. Remote config allows you to launch globally um, across all your platforms in one go, tied into your marketing campaigns and, and I don't know, social activity that you might do. Notifications, uh, aiding discovery, um, aiding uh, driving people in to, to actually uh, perform the actions you designed the feature for, um, and dynamic links for people to have a good experience when they share out your content, which you encourage uh, onto social media. And then finally, you get the turnkey app analytics that provide you um, how your product is doing, uh, if people are engaging with your features the way you want, and all sorts of really other interesting things. So that was me. Thank you.